Oh, something is going on here. He died? Is he dead? I bet he's dead. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. If that's what you call nothing to see, I'd like to know what something to see looks like. What is happening? By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Oh, what happened? Oh, that is the grossest thing. He did. Sakra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Man. That was nasty. Find out more about Limpy Lubosch. Who was Limpy Lubosch? Was he a great man? Who was man? Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why did he limp? Do you know about anything suspicious? Did he have any cronies? Uh, or where was he on the night the Neuhof was raided? Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Hmm... How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Okay. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any cronies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Mm, none. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Hmm. Okay. When, when did you body find found? the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Hmm. Why is this Another still highlighted? Highli yeah, that's still highlighted. Why is that? Like, that's still... Okay, now it's not... Well, that's quite the predicament. What about you, villager? And you, trader? And you, archery master? Wow, you seem professional. And you, innkeeper. Yosef, he has a name. I'm going to look for people with names. God be with you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Leiper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. He doesn't know anything about it, sir, he said. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Tavern. Got it. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. Church. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. Gotta talk to the priest. I was wondering what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. 
but I suppose no sin's too dark for God's mercy. Okay, talk to the priest. Who was Lub what was Lubash doing in the night of the Noah Freddy? He won't know. Who was Lubash seeing? Do you know anyone Lubash used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next yep, to us sometimes, tavern. but he never said much. Okay, okay. I think I've got That's enough all. to go on here. We're gonna go take a take a trip to the priest. Thanks, Yosef. You're a good man. Vashik, head groom. Huh, where's the bride? <laughs> All right, so wow, that is a that is a big big area here. That's the priest, right? Mm hmm. Let's go ahead and fast travel to that location, make things convenient on us. I thought it was Ujits, but apparently it's Auschitz. What are you doing over there, just sewing? Uh, where is where's my horse? At? Ah, dang it, the horse stayed down there, didn't he? Okay, let's talk. This guy's ready to battle. Oh, don't get too close here. What are you doing, Father? Can I ask you a few questions about Lubash? The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. Um, but ask as you wish, looks boy. Looks like an older Bruce Willis. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Um... Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubosh don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Come on. Come on. Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. Oh. And I'd like to help you with your Excuse investigation. Excuse me? But I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. There has to be some exception. Father, surely you can't be serious. Oh, you look like there must be situations him. in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. Uh, his... Oh, my speech is, has a bonus right now, so let's try that. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. That's if a I told you, Ooh, fail. I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. Ah. Uh. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity oh of the gosh. confessional. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. I'll tell you what, give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening, in the tavern, over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right, thank you, Father. Hmm, I don't like this at all. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, calm down, Father. My gosh. Well, what's happening around town, I guess? I got I got a date tonight with the priest. Where's that tavern? The tavern was over here, I think. Right here. Let me go ask around here. Who knows? See so you guys like that hop? Villager, villager. I'm sure someone inside. Who's this guy? Innkeeper. The innkeeper knows stuff. God be with you. Um, I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. That's what the last guy said. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhof was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but 
after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. What does that even mean? That's all. Thank you. Uh, what's happening around here? Is there anything suspicious <clears throat> going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. And that's not all. Around here, <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at <laughs> the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> and that's not all. Oh, no, it is all. Uh, a place to sleep. Uh, I got to meet him in the evening. I wonder. I guess I could just wait. Uh, let's just end dialogue. Well, what time is it actually? It's probably pretty close. Here's the quest giver. That's probably Vashek the groom, I would imagine. I would imagine. Or is it the priest? It might be the priest, actually. It is. Uh, do you have any work for me? Hmm. Have He's you thought of that. a way to help me solve? Let's leave it for the evening. Yep. Leave it for the evening. Got it. Got it. Okay. Down we go. End dialogue. I'll I'll take I'll pick up some side quests afterwards. But for now, we're just gonna. Whoa. We're just gonna hang around until the evening, which hopefully is very very soon. It's currently 7:38. I'm guessing that's the evening. So we could probably wait around a little bit. Skip time for, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Enter. It doesn't really tell you what key to press once you skip time, I don't think. Energy is 80, nourishment is 89, health is 100, so that's the most important part. Come on. Come on. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright, this is definitely the evening. Where is father? Father is not here. Hopefully he's inside. He sure ah. is. Here we go. Blessings of our Lord be... And with you, lad. Take a seat. Okay. I guess I have to sit down and talk. Here we are. Let's talk. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. They're dead. If I open up to him, he might I'm open up to, to me. I'm sorry to hear that. That's why I'm doing it. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was. It was terrible. Seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. Yeah. They almost killed me. They sure did. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Well, you see, I'm kind of on... awesome. Um... He did, but I found a witness, and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most okay, important this guy thing, drinks to a lot of things. What actually happened at Noyle? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. This time they weren't exaggerating. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. 
And judging by what's left of our Lubosh, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. Mm-hmm. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're handy with a sword. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places That's right, where affairs before he was were dying by hard. Force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. There. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want My more friend. innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Hmm. You're making excuses. No, you're just making excuses. The people who say the church is corrupt are right. Oh. You don't care about anyone, only your own comfort. I'm sorry you see it that way. Mm. Really sorry. You've no idea how wrong you are. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. I'm not Tongue really that the interested popes goes down well these in days. this. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> Can you give me an example? No, I don't know. Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, like and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like oh, the yeah. sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? I'll have a beer. The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. This is quite the Just conversation like a we're having. a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. Come they don't know mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money Why is gained he getting from the so poor, upset? they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot... And had no place to lay his head. He is really upset. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor. For you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Okay. This Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. This guy drinks to a lot of Funny. things. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Huth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Jesus. You want to preach against debauchery? What do you think of Huss? You, the teaching of Master Huss, or Hus, Jan Hus, what are the folks saying about it? Enough enough about preaching. Uh, he's what do you gonna, think of this Jan Hus? He's, gonna, he's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. I'm trying to get some information. If he information got out of Prague out of and came here for a look, I don't know if this is going to work, though. I'm sure he'd stop we condemning might just be having a conversation. with women. Um, don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman, and then criticizes the Pope for, be, for, 
for debauchery. No, I don't. Okay. That was short and sweet. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Coming. You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. All right. What are the folks saying about what it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Okay, enough about preaching. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. I'd say that's a good plan. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I'm trying to get I him knew drunk you enough. Let me down. I'm trying to get him drunk enough, guys. I don't think it's gonna work. Look at us just boozing it up. <laughs> this music. What are we doing? We playing dice? We rolling dice? We playing Yahtzee? Oh, I learned the rules of that game uh, earlier, so maybe if I have a chance to play it again, I'll actually have a chance of winning. But I won last time, so... An arm wrestling match? This guy is a riot. Oh, I am plastered. This. Oh. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So? I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. These guys don't look like pleasant dudes. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Oh, are we fighting? I think we're fighting. Objective started. Help Godwin. Come on, block. Come on. I mean, punch me so I can block. That's what I meant. Kick. Well, this guy's just like crossing in front of the fight. Yeah! 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 Uppercut! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh, dang it! This guy. Oh! Suddenly someone up. Oh! Objective completed! So, my dear, wouldn't you like to have a little ring on the bell? <laughs> Climb the bell tower! Oh, we're so I'd drunk. love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Yeah, Hi, yeah, yeah. Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What yeah. do they do to me? It'll be fine. You're in a private area. In a private area, but I'm supposed to go up there, right? Okay, good. I thought I was going to get in trouble right there. This is ridiculous. I'm so drunk. We're going to ring we the are. bell for Look fun. At this beauty. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. Hogs <laughs> <laughs> are a wench. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. I'm gonna wake up the whole time. Oh, that's gross. Ah, oh, bloody elf. <laughs> And now, my dears, you know, comes the 
climax of the evening. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> God, when you old goat. Come here. You know, for somebody who has such morals that he won't, like, give any information that might lead to an arrest of a murderer, he sure isn't too concerned. Hello! The priest has mounted up. Okay. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? I'm gonna have to blur all this out, guys. There's some nudity here, and I'm just a little bit worried about, about, um, the whole YouTube thing, so, um, a little bit, a little bit of blurring is gonna happen. Blurring has definitely happened. Oh man, I'm still super drunk. What am I supposed to do here? It's the morning. I'm not even wearing my armor. Do I have stuff on me? I have my stuff on me still. What am I supposed to do right now? They're not giving me very many clues. Am I supposed to... <laughs> what? What is well, happening? I have to say that was a fine evening. Thanks, Bruce Willis. Okay. Objective completed. We have earned his trust. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? We did, you Bruce Willis. You certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christy Pony, my head. Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> what the fuck was it? <laughs> oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're going to excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for him. I'm going to do the sermon for him? What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. So he wants Henry, me to lie. Look, oh, this guy. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. oh, disgusting. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Well, it's what I've wanted all night. This is ridiculous. The confessional seal isn't sacred anymore. We'll never get away with it. All right, but I can't guarantee the results. Sorry, but I'm not doing it. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Uh, don't mock me. 
I won't give you a second chance. We'll never get away with it. We'll never get away with it. Not if you make a hash of it. All right, but I can't guarantee the result. Well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need How am I going to drag remember it out. that? If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. This is going to be ridiculous. Let's get to it, then. Give the sermon in church instead of Father Goodwin. This. Oh, and I'm still drunk. I'm hungover. This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> 